here at Epitou Plaza uh, looking at a rhododendron that was planted two years ago. This particular variety is called Taurus. It's in the medium to large uh, scale of rhododendrons that go from miniature to tall. And we're going to talk a little bit about uh, fertilization and the root system. Now, most of the time I have taken the rhododendrons and uh, done a fertilization in the month of February, which I did. But then I decided because of last year's stressful time in the summer that I would give it an extra shot coming up here in the month of March. And that is what I've done. Rhododendrons have a very compact root system uh, that it generally, depending on the size of the tree, how large it is, but uh, they probably aren't gonna get much bigger than a basketball uh, beach ball type uh, size. In this particular case, we've also gone in and clipped off all of the uh, burnt or damaged leaves from that summer heat event. And with that in mind, uh, we're going to be pushing out a whole bunch of new growth after the blooming. Now these blooms were set uh, after last year's uh, bloom cycle and that happened during the summertime. And as we uh, push through into this year, these will bloom in May. So is, uh, most of the time I have used a triple number fertilizer, like a triple 15, triple 16. And in this particular second cycle of uh, fertilization, I've used one that is being by Lily Miller that is designated for evergreens, uh, azaleas, rhododendrons, blueberries, all of those acid-loving uh, plant material types that are going to um, be uh, pretty much cycling through with their fruits and blooms starting uh, in the month of May, late April. So I've just sprinkled it around the base of the tree uh, not necessarily out to the drip line, but if you do that, that's okay. And after that, we rake it in a little bit and try to do so just before a little bit of rain to flush it in there. Uh, this particular version of fertilizer had a larger nitrogen content than uh, the other two elements, and uh, that uh, will be um, a good thing because it'll help push out the uh, the new growth coming up. That's it for now. Thanks for checking in on Ask Jim.